I haven't been flying a whole lot the last couple weeks. So I figured maybe I could just take a little trip over to the airport and give you a tour of our Cessna 140. This is our 1946 Cessna 140. This is what we do all the airplane camping in. There's the landing light, extends from the wing. It's got these gear leg extensions. Uh, apparently they were put on 140s quite a bit, 120s, in order to help keep them from nosing over. What happened was, with the gear leg extensions, kind of drop in the front end and this big Scott 3200 lifting the tail just a bit. The angle of incidence of this airplane was a little too low. So me and an instructor in it kind of bounced down the runway for about 2,000 feet. It just liked the ground a little too much. We went up from 606s to 806 tires here on the front. Gives it a little nicer looking stance and looks a little bit meaner. Chopped the takeoff distance to about a third of what it was using. Here is the Continental C85, puts out 85 horsepower, 85-12, it's got the starter. We actually installed a Cessna 150 exhaust, which provides better heat. Pretty nice seats, kind of goes back to about there. I actually, when flying alone, if I'm flying longer distances, I like to fly with a little lumbar support. Uh, when we're camping, I actually sit on the pillow and have it popped up a bit under my back. Got 80 pounds of baggage back there. A little Marvel Mystery Oil. Yeah, that's where all the camping gear goes. Four-point harnesses. Stratix, used for ADS-B in. 12 and a half gallons of gas per side. Kind of a rosin-style visor. The basic instrument panel. A little more of the look of the Cessna 170 with that nice round tail. That nice vintage tail dragger look. It's a hell of a lot more fun than flying the nose wheel. See how she flies. Airport's pretty busy today. Check the weather. One two thousand temperature two two Celsius dew point two altimeter three zero two three. All right. Well, one nice thing about the Cessna 140 is while taxiing, since it's side by side, is you can actually see pretty well over the nose. No need for S turns, anything like that. But all right, it's a pretty simple airplane. We're gonna run her up to about 1,700 RPM. Our speed is right here. Right mag. See the drop. Left mag. See the drop. Oil pressure's good. Charging. Take her back to idle. Rolls free and correct. Trim for takeoff. All right, YouTube, time to fly. Seven. 
Metro traffic, that's the 959 or Delta, departing runway 15 to the northwest. Metro. Metro traffic, Archer 105, Mike Alpha is clear, runway 15 to the Metro. I go pull forward, let the tail come down, just keep it straight on the center line, and she'll fly off when she's ready. Metro traffic, that's a uh, Niner 5 Niner Niner Delta turning cross on for 1-5, Metro. Metro traffic, that's a uh, 99 Delta turning downwind runway 1-5 and departing the area to the northwest, Metro. Oh, you ought to see pretty close to what I see from this camera back here. Um, actually, when we're straight and level, you can see quite a bit below the horizon. Oh, but you can see way down there in front of you. Great visibility for what it is. Got the two skylights up here so you can see in the turns. Oh, once again, panel's pretty basic. One thing I can say about the 140, it's not my favorite, are these window latches. Um, they're actually prohibitively expensive and if you break or lose one, uh, and they're really easy to hit with your elbow. That said, you can fly this airplane with the window open, or at least I have. Hasn't really caused any real problems. And it's a beautiful, beautiful evening to fly. So how does the Cessna 120, 140 compare to something like a Luscom or uh, even a Champ or a Cub? It's very, very, very similar to the Luscom. Speeds are are fairly close. Oh, most of my time was in a 65 horse Luscom. Uh, we cruise right around 100 miles an hour. Uh, this one cruises slightly faster. It's rumored that Cessna sent a few engineers to the Luscom factory to try to try to solve all of the problems with the Luscom in building the 120, 140. Uh, in my estimation, uh, Cessna actually copied the Luscom so well, they, they copied some of the problems. Now, when you compare it to something like a, a Champ or a, a Cub, uh, you move a whole heck of a lot faster. You might not be able to fly with the doors open, your foot out on the strut, but you can move at a pretty decent clip. But, well, let's go do a, go do a little landing and takeoff. Logan Sport traffic, Cessna 9 or 5 9 or 9 or Delta is about 4 miles to the west. Um, it's going to go straight in on 9, Logan Sport. So even though this airplane takes somewhere around six, 700 feet to get off the ground, I find that it's actually really easy to land in a couple hundred feet. So you can't have the Cessna problem of getting in somewhere you can't get back out of. So once you slow it down, get it in the wide arc, and drop the flaps. People say uh, they don't do a whole lot. I do find they add a bit of drag and slow you down. Logan Sport traffic, that's a 99 Delta. It's short final runway nine, Logan Sport. So I've got a little bit of crosswind here. I do three point mostly, even with pretty strong crosswinds. So let's see if I can do it. decent job here. Hold it off, hold it off. Wasn't perfect, but hey, wasn't too bad. Well, YouTube, if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer any questions you have about the Cessna 140. I've been flying it now for a couple hundred hours. I think I have a pretty good idea of what this airplane can do. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, uh, subscribe if you would, hit that bell icon if you want to be notified of any new videos. I plan to make many more. Love to share my adventures with you.
Logan Sport, Cessna 9590 Delta, departing runway 9 to the northwest, Logan Sport. So let's do a quick little short field takeoff. Just to demonstrate, I'm going to run it a full power. Wayne County traffic is confirmed in 1060. Plenty of right runner. Left downwind 20, flight I get it right to about 60 miles an hour, pop full fill ups, and off she goes. And bleed them out slowly. White County traffic is confirmed. This is in not instruction. Left face 20, White County. Logan Sport traffic, Cessna 99 Delta is turning crosswind for runway 9 and departing the area to the northwest, Logan Sport. Well, YouTube, it's about time for me to head home. Well, if you click right there, you'll see a video of a trip that we took in this 140. If you click over there, it's probably a video YouTube wants to show you. Isn't that how it works? Well, I hope you like watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it. This is our Cessna 140.